the look did all the talking for me. I didn't have to say too much. I'm introducing a new style series to the channel and it's all about how I style what I already have in my closet. If you're interested, please stay tuned. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm sharing with you guys something that I've gotten asked a lot throughout the years, and it's basically how do you style yourself? So, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of my inspirations and just the things that run through my mind when I look at my closet and I want something new to wear. Now, when I was doing some research on this, I was trying to get you guys pictures to go with some of the topics that I'll be talking about. I looked up and it was over a hundred pictures so i was like yeah we're gonna have to do multiple videos for this we're gonna have to make this a series so with that full transparency i grew up in humble beginnings but something my household never lacked was style so ideas that echoed throughout my home was the idea of managing you have to manage and also the idea of making new combinations as my mom would say and keeping those two phrases in mind really highlight and bring the idea of one looking at the pieces you already have from a new perspective making and managing what you already have in your closet secondly is refreshing your looks by arranging and rearranging what you already already have into different new looks and usually from there you're able to see a common denominator of what's lacking from multiple looks so then when you do go out shopping you're shopping with intent you're shopping with a purpose you're not shopping just for the sake of shopping you're shopping to fill a specific void and in a way it'll help direct your purchases I also have a video on making better buys with fewer regrets so make sure you check out that video after this. But for the purpose of this series, I wanted to serve as a one-stop shop for reference and just to give you ideas at your fingertips. So I plan on focusing on different categories that come to mind when I'm looking at my closet and looking for what to wear. So we're gonna start off with the easy stuff first and gradually we're gonna work our way to more complex and intricate looks. So some may not be super groundbreaking, but not too much on me because I've shared some of these ideas with my friends and they found it helpful. So we just want to share the love and make sure you're never at a loss when you're looking at your closet because you can always come back to this video and be like, I can do that. I can do this. I got you covered. Today, we're going to talk about styling neutrals. Now, for me, neutrals are everything from white all the way to dark brown and everything in between. Sometimes I throw in a couple herb tones, but I also consider a neutral palette a monochromatic palette. So I looked up some definitions for you guys so I can have y'all straight. One of the definitions I found says monochrome colors are all the varieties of a single hue, the tints, shades, and tones. They range between lighter and darker versions of the base color or hue. So hue refers to the actual color. Tone refers to the mood and it's done by adding grays. Shade is achieved by adding black. And tints are achieved by adding white. And just as a heads up, another interpretation of monochromatic, especially when you're looking at international websites, sometimes they refer to black and white patterns as monochrome. So just so you know, whenever you're looking, if that comes up. So with that out the way, if you're new here, my name is Yudi. I go by Yudi on the Glow here and on my other social media platforms. So make sure you subscribe to me here and follow me there. I share with you guys how I style myself, my home, and more. And go ahead and tell a friend and tell a friend to subscribe. Yeah, like telephone. <laughs> with that out the way, back to it. So when it comes to neutral looks, I feel like it's the easiest way to get a luxe look without doing too much. It also can give a dainty and light airy feel to what you're wearing and it can be very soft on the eyes. So typically I wear more neutrals during daytime outings, whether it be running errands, grabbing brunch, anytime that I want that light airy feel, anytime I want an effortless look like I haven't done too much, that's when I'm wearing my neutrals. So when I'm in the mood to wear neutrals, what I'll do is go to my closet and pull out pieces that match that color scheme. And what I'm trying to do is rearrange what I already have and work them into new looks that I haven't put together before. And there comes in the new combination. 
So next up, I'm gonna go through some neutral looks that I found online and some that I've worn. That way we can put some visuals to the topics we're talking about and also break down ways to achieve the look. So if you see someone you know or a campaign you're familiar with, go ahead and credit them in the comments down below. For the meantime, these are just gonna be in my pins. You guys see me looking down, I'm looking at my laptop. So this first look, it just gives a very clean and light feel. It also looks super effortless, like she's not doing too much. So you have the white shirt, the beige pants. It looks like we have the gold Oran sandals. I don't know what that bag is, but it's a beautiful brown color. And we have the cardigan tied around the neck. Again, everything looks super simple, chic. She could be going to brunch, she could be running errands. But at the end of the day, she looks comfortable. We love comfort over here. One of the things here, especially with this cardigan, having a sweater tied around your shoulders or draped on your shoulders is nothing new. But I started seeing this style come back a lot last year. And I remember thinking to myself, dang, I'm gonna need some more cardigans. And later on it hit me, if you have a crew neck sweatshirt, you can tie that around. You don't have to have a cardigan. If you got that sweatshirt and it's the color you want, tie it around and already you've got the look. This next one I feel like is the ultimate running errands look. Again, we have that comfort. It looks like she's wearing a light long line jacket in beige with the pants to match. Underneath, that's a lighter cream hoodie. Then we have the multi pochette around, but again, you can wear any crossbody. What I love about this, I kind of talked about this in my fashion radar video, but the idea of having one piece in your collection that is a brown logo print, but isn't too loud, can serve as a neutral piece for you. So if you guys haven't checked out my fashion radar video, I'll make sure I leave a link. And then also on the feet, we have some chunky sneakers. This can easily be done with New Balances or Nike shoes without breaking the bank. A very comfortable look. I remember I wore something similar when I was going to UPS and I got compliments on it and it was such a simple outfit that I just threw on and went about my business. So here's another look that's all about comfort. If you're ever running errands, you just wanna throw something on, think about this, cause this, I would definitely wear this. <laughs> so next I have this look from Nori who we love over here. We have the beige going on with the gold belt. That may be a Jack Moose top, but I'm loving the proportions. Again, this looks comfortable. We have a low heel that might be a Prada sling back. And one of the things I wanna point out here, sometimes when I can accessorize with brown, I sometimes swap it out for orange. Sometimes that orange gives you a little extra pop. And depending on like what scale you're looking at, brown and orange can low key be on the same spectrum. So I love how she's accenting the pieces with pops of orange. Later on in this series, please stay tuned because I will have videos on accent pieces, proportions, and more. We will get to it. I love this fit because again, we have comfort. It looks functional. We have the jacket keeping her warm and we have the pops of orange giving a little extra spin. But honestly, you could substitute all the orange pieces for more true brown colors and still have the same vibe. Now this next piece, I of course have to spotlight it because this brown is everything. I believe this is an Andrea Iyama piece. I still need to get something from her. I do, one day I will. And I just love it head to toe. We have the chunky earrings. Again, it's giving you that extraness without doing too much. The cut on the top is everything. And then we see these pleats in these pants, what? And again, if you pay attention to the purse the model is holding, some people might call that orange, like a toned down orange, and some people might call that brown. So for me, that's how those can interchange. So yeah, love this look. She did it. Now this next one I wanted to spotlight because I want to consider myself the most girliest dresser. I tend to like androgynous looks, more chic, more edgy. So I'm learning to embrace my softer side more. So I tend to like to wear pants, jeans, that kind of thing. Like you never know when you gotta be on go. Like you never know. <laughs> but I try to challenge myself to incorporate more dresses and skirts into my looks. So I've been embracing more of the maxi or medaxi look. Something that's hitting at your ankles or a little bit above. I've been liking that because it gives me more of like a sophisticated grown look like, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> What I love about this dress is the neckline is very clean cut. If you're someone who's conscious about your arms, those are covered up. And I love the volume that grows as you go further down the dress based on the slit. So the slit adds a little extra skin, but it's all balanced. So I love that. I would actually want to dress like that. So now let's get into some looks that I've come up with. So this first look, this was a fun one. So this is a look I did in Houston. We were out getting brunch and starting from head to toe. These cat eye glasses kind of give you, again, that mix between is it orange, is it brown? 
I got them online somewhere, but it wasn't until after the fact, like months later, that I realized these are Saint Laurent or Loewe dupe. Okay, the top I got from Misguided. Okay, y'all remember that time when Misguided was like, and then the site disappeared and you just couldn't get refunds and nothing? I think they're back now, but that, that was weird. Anyway, I got this top from Misguided, and a great thing about it is the material is so thick you wouldn't know that I got it from Misguided. It's a very thick material and it holds its shape. And just for reference, if you're ever looking for something similar, when you have that ruching up top, how that neck falls, that's called a cow neck. I'm gonna make sure I talk about the different techniques in the clothing, just because often when my friends are looking for something and they have me look for it, they don't know the name of the style or the technique used. So once you know the name of the different techniques and silhouette, it makes it that much easier when you're looking for something similar to buy for yourself. Moving on, the pants, I got those from H&M. The shoes are also from H&M. When I tell you those are the most comfortable shoes I own, like I can walk miles in those shoes. Those shoes really let me know that I need a good pair of open toe black shoes because there are some outfits where I wanna be comfortable and I need the height so whatever I'm wearing is not dragging on the floor. And I go for those shoes over the black shoes that I have just because these are more comfortable. And I got this purse from ASOS. I feel like you're supposed to call it ASOS, but in this household we say ASOS. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I always have my Casio watch on. I love that watch. Next up, I just wanted to throw this one in here. This is a fun impromptu moment. Okay, story time. This picture, I was actually with my cousin when she was getting her birthday pictures done. I was already dressed up because I'm like, I'm going to help my cousin get her pictures and I'm going to try and take my pictures on the side. So this was actually a test shot. This was a test shot set up for my cousin. This wasn't meant for me. So we got this picture in like two seconds. But just to give you guys a rundown of what I have on, the hat I got from Forever 21, the shirt I think I got from AliExpress, the biker shorts are from Pretty Little Thing, and the shoes are also from Pretty Little Thing, I believe. And I got the purse from TJ Maxx. Now this style of purse is called a hat box, just because it resembles like the bigger storage boxes for where you store your hats. So yeah, this look did not cost much at all. So you do not have to break the bank to look good. I will always say that. Now this next one, me and my friend, we, we went out to brunch here in Atlanta at the Select. And I actually ended up grabbing the wrong coat. But we just ran with it. So I love this hat. This hat just gives me like, buy me this, buy me that vibes. I just love it. I got the hat from ASOS. Sunglasses are Louis Vuitton. The shirt I got from ASOS is actually what I'm wearing now. And the squirt, it's supposed to be like a corduroy skirt. I got that from Pretty Little Thing. That skirt, I'll let you know right now, isn't the best quality. But let's get into these legs. Do you, like, let's get into this leg muscle. Like, what are you talking about? It's like I'm in shape. I was so not in shape. I am not in shape. But this picture looks like I'm in shape. Look at that thigh. Come on. Um, and then my shoes. These are sock booties that I got from, hmm. I think I got those from Pretty Little Thing years ago. The jacket is also from Pretty Little Thing. And the purse is from Shein. So I'll see if I can find some similar items and link them down below. Because a lot of these items I bought many years ago. This day was such a beautiful day. Like everything was magical. Like the curls, the hair, the hat, the jacket. The look was looking. It had been cold a lot of days back to back. But the sun was out. It was just picture perfect. My pictures that I got from this day I didn't really edit. Because the sun did all the editing for me. And the last but not least. This is probably one of my favorite looks to date. But let me tell you something. This is what I mean when I say new shoes can really give you that chic luxe look when you've barely done anything. This look right here, I feel like when I walked through in this look, the look did all the talking for me. I didn't have to say too much. I didn't have to say much at all. So I actually took this picture when I was, when I was spending a Christmas holiday with my cousins in London. Usually whenever I visit them, we stop by Harris to pick up chocolates. And this is around the time when I was starting to get more into like luxury and designer items. So when we went, I decided to just look at some things in person. I remember this day I was actually trying to hunt down the Jacquemus Bambino bag in the khaki color. Cause one, I hadn't seen the bag in person and I hadn't seen that color available anywhere. So I remember we looked at that. I looked at some other bags. And then this is actually, I think the top floor of Harris. 
where they have all of the different perfume boutiques. So if you guys look closely, my aunt and my uncle are in the background of like all of the pictures. I tried my best to edit them and I gave up. Shout out to my cousin Insane. Insane was behind the camera. But even while we were taking pictures, we could feel the vibe. A lot of representatives on the floor were hyping me up in the background. So it was just a really nice time. But to go through this outfit, the turtleneck sweater I'm wearing is from Bershka. I got it from ASOS. When I tell you, I don't know what they put in the threads of that sweater. Like this picture, you can't tell, but I was sweating. <laughs> That sweater kept me so warm that even walking back to the car, like I had to take my jacket off in winter and I didn't feel any wind coming through the sweater. I don't know what they did with it, but I got the sweater from Bershka. The jacket is from Misguided. I changed out the buttons on the jacket. The purse was a sheeling purse that I got from H&M. And the leather pants are also from Misguided. They're a little bit too long for me, but I wore my sling back heels to give me a little bit of height. So yeah, that was the look. This look just makes you want to smile, like, Oh, like one of my favorite outfits today. And again, I can't harp on this enough, but did not break the bank and the look is giving money. It's giving she got it. It's giving silver spoon. It's giving all of that. So that brings me to the end of this video. I'm hoping you guys were able to pick a few tips here and there and able to find things that you can wear in warm weather as well as cold weather. With this being the beginning of the series, go ahead and let me know if you found this video helpful. Please leave your feedback or any comments you have down in the comments below and let's keep it cute and respectful as always i am working on more styling videos for this series as well as some other videos for the channel so please stay tuned and make sure your bell notifications are on and you're subscribed if you haven't already but until next time bye guys